Hi everyone and welcome back to Just Julia. I'm super excited today because I'm making this video in response to one of my viewers questions which is how to properly carve a chicken or a turkey. So please, please, please leave your comments. I do read them and of course I love responding to them. And if you like what you see, subscribe down below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting with about a five pound chicken that's been roasting for about two and a half hours and this has been resting for 30 minutes which is super important. You really want to make sure before you carve anything you let it rest and what resting does is make sure that that chicken or the turkey reabsorbs all of those liquids and keeps it extremely moist. If you don't, as soon as you cut into it all those liquids will just run out and you won't have a tasty or a moist chicken or turkey. All right, so to get started, we're going to transfer our bird to a cutting board. And you want to make sure you have your serving plate right beside you. You're also going to need a super sharp knife, okay? Don't be afraid to use the sharpest knife in your kitchen. Next, we're going to remove the wing from the body. Use the tip of your knife and simply cut around that wing bone and it should tear right off. Next, you're going to remove the thigh and the leg from the breast. So it's kind of similar to the wing. You're going to take the tip of the knife and you're just going to get that separation there and kind of cut around that hip bone. Again, it comes off super easily. So that is the thigh and that's the drumstick. So for serving, we're just going to cut right in between them and have the drumstick and have the thigh separated. So we'll do that on the other side also. Okay, so now we're left with the breast and you have two options for the breast. One, you can slice the meat right off of the bird all in one piece, or you can separate the breast from the bone and slice that separately. I prefer the second technique, I just find it a lot easier and the presentation is much nicer. To remove the breast from the bone, I'm going to actually flip the bird right over to where all that breast meat is and I'm just going to run the knife right along the breastbone, like so. And you'll start to feel the meat coming free from the body. Okay, and then you're gonna get the whole breast that looks like this. What I like to do from here is I just like to nice, nicely slice it into pieces and then put it in one nice piece right onto the serving dish. Okay, so there we have it, our perfectly carved bird. As always, comments, questions are completely welcome. I love hearing from you guys and please, please subscribe if you've liked what you've seen and as always guys, Keep cooking.